a copper coil which is wounded over a aluminium wire next we will take a worn out vehicle uh, uh, through which we will remove this tire so fitted with a flywheel and use it for rotation of the magnets and see that whether free energy is generated or not so for this we will take two screws and fit it over the board in such a way that we can make a bow like structure so we will fit the screws on the board once these screws are fitted both the side we have to fix the screw once it is been fixed next we will fix the this coil on both the side to make a bow like structure this coil on both the side once it is been ready now we will rotate this and fix this aluminum wire and the copper coil for the board make it in the form of bow like structure and fix it once it has been twisted on both the side and we have made it in the form of bow once it has been done done next we will take the arrangement of this flywheel which we have fixed a flywheel on both the side and this and a magnet we have fixed one side we will make an arrangement to fix this uh arrangement in between this the structure which we have made in such a way that this magnet rotates in between this bow once it is been done now we will fix this with the screw we are fixing this wooden log with a screw tightly on both the side once it is being fixed next we will fit the magnets this is a round magnet we will fix it in one flywheel so one magnet is being fixed so we have made arrangement and we will fix this bar magnet other wheel so that we can get a maximum flux out of this linking with the coil once it is been done next we will take a dc motor uh dc motor fly wheel we have taken a dc motor with is fixed with a fly wheel and it it in such a way that it coincides with this flywheel now 
we will fix the motor See that both the flywheels are aligned together. Once the motor is fixed, next <coughs> we will. Take a rubber band and fix this both the flywheels. And check whether it is able to move freely or not. So both the magnets are rotating in front of the coil. Now next we will fix the terminals of the wire So once it has been fixed, Next, we will take another terminal, twist it in the form of coil. Now, we will solder it to the another terminal of the wire. Once it has been done, we will take a powered bias diode and fix it to make a half a rectification. So we have completed our arrangement. This copper coil uh, in the form of a spring is fitted in the form of a bow with a powered bias diode and uh, two terminals are made. This bow knot vehicle is made a flywheel which is fixed with the flywheel of a motor in order to rotate. And we have fixed a bar magnet and a rod magnet 
so that uh, these two uh, magnets rotate in front of this uh, copper coil and maximum flux link with the coil changes and EMF will be produced or not we can check and it works on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction stating that whenever the flux linking with the coil changes EMF is generated we can check it now we will take an extension board and fix it and see whether the EMF is generated or not Now we will fix this two terminals with the two points. points of the extension board is fixed here terminal of the extension board as fixed next <coughs> see this arrangement is able to rotate or not once it is been fixed next we will fix the board once the extension board is fixed next we will check whether EMF is generated or not <coughs> uh, generated or not by this arrangement when the both the magnets are rotating inside this coil of bow and whether it will generate or not for this we will give a turg and check whether it will generate a free so we have a flywheel here of a toy car which will maintain the rotation of this arrangement uh, and keep it uh, moving. So for this we will give a turg and see whether it will generate uh, energy or not. So this arrangement is moving in between the coil, uh, the bar magnet and the round white net is moving so that a maximum flux is linking with the coil and we will check whether EMF is generated or not in the coil. So for this we will take a multimeter and fix it to 20 volt DC and see how much voltage is generated here. So here we can see that uh, nearly 5 volt, uh, nearly 3 volt is generated. Nearly 3 volts are generated here. So 
the glowing up bulb indicates uh, the generation of uh, EMF and nearly 3.10 volt is being generated by movement of these magnets in front of this uh, insulated copper wire in the form of a coil. So this is how we can generate a free energy using a method of a coil and magnet experiment. Here the flywheel of the toy is rotating so that in order to make the two magnets rotate in such a way that the maximum EMF is generated in the coil. So here the bulb is glowing showing that EMF is generated in the coil. So this is how we can generate the EMF in the coil. So here the magnets are moving in between the bow like structure coil and generating the EMF. The round magnet and the bar magnet is moving in such a way in between the coil that EMF is generated in the coil. So here you can see that the magnets are rotating in front of the Coil, spring coil and thus generating a EMF. So these round magnet and a bar magnet is rotating in front of the spring coil and thus flux linking the coil changes and EMF is generated in the coil. The glowing of the bulb indicates that EMF is generated in the coil. So these both the magnets, round magnet and bar magnet the coil and the flux linking with the coil changes and EMF is generated in the coil. So you can see here the magnets are rotating in between the coil and generating the EMF. So this works uh, on the principle of uh, Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction stating that whenever the flux linking the coil changes, EMF is generated in the coil. Thank you friends. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that whenever I make such videos, a notification arrives you. Thank you very much.